What's going on guys, Don over at REI Automation Squad and Easy Button REI. Uh, today we're gonna talk through one of our CRM platforms called Freedom CRM. It's kind of our middle of the road. Uh, it's got some automation tied behind it, KPI tracking, things of that nature. I uh, just kind of wanna show you through that and do a demo and walk through it, as well as kind of show you where you can get some information about it uh, on our website. So if it's Monday through Friday, you have the um, chat bubble down on the bottom right where you can always ask questions uh, about it. You've got some different training videos up here uh, that you can take a look at. And then if you wanna get more information on what we connect to uh, through the CRM, you can see that there. Um, who's a fit and who's not a fit, you can kind of check that out. And then the different products and services that we currently have along with pricing uh, is broken out here. So today specifically, we're gonna talk through Freedom CRM, so you can see that it does have automation, KPI tracking, no follow-up, no backup, uh, but we do have contract service and automated uh, property data that pulls in as well. And then we do have some support functions where you have a support ticket uh, system that you can send into email, uh, a Podio group where you can ask questions and a training portal uh, on how to use the platform. And you can see here, it starts at 47 bucks a month, one user or less currently. Additional users above that first one are 25 bucks a month, okay? So what does it look like? This is Freedom CRM. You can see that it's got a similar look to our Simple CRM and Beast Mode CRM. So one of the nice things about the Freedom CRM is you can sign up for Freedom CRM, use it, and then grow into Beast Mode. So you can upgrade and we can turn on the automation for follow-up. Uh, and the backup and things of that nature, uh, and you'd be able to upgrade to a Beast Mode CRM without losing any of your data, uh, comments, files, tasks, et cetera, uh, that sometimes happens when moving Podio systems, okay? So your main home screen, you're gonna have your training portal uh, for the Freedom CRM. You can click on this. It'll open up a training portal that I'll show you in a minute, and it kind of explains how to use the different apps and uh, working through the workspace. The uh, Easy Button section, if you click on this, will show you some of the different um, platforms that we offer over at EasyButton, including the free tools course, uh, which has how to use or what to use for skip tracing, list services, texting, cold calling, et cetera. So take a uh, look at the free tools uh, course over there, okay? And then you've got your uh, Freedom CRM support links here. So you've got your Facebook group, training portal, and the email address to uh, send in any issues that you have there. Your task management, your calendar management for items within the CRM. And then you're gonna have report tiles that'll start showing some of your KPIs through the system. So sellers that have called in by day, month, year, if you're doing mailings, can track the mail that's been sent out last seven days, 30 days, and month over month. As people call in, you'll start to see by campaign where they're calling from, assuming you're using a tracking number through call rail or smartphone, which is what we currently connect with. Uh, more to come maybe on other uh, providers, but that's the two that we connect to currently. And then as prospects are being created in your property leads app, you'll see how many per day. How many appointments you're setting up month over month. So this will show each month how many you've had. Offers per month, contracts, and then closed deals. Uh, when you have something under contract, if you're putting in what you bought it for and what you think you're going to sell it for, it'll give you a projection, aka pipeline report to say this is what you would make on a gross level. Uh, if everything goes as planned, you buy it and sell it for what you put it in there, okay? And then as you sell deals and close them out, contract close, et cetera, or close deal, um, you'll see exactly how many you have in that status, which campaign they sold from, and then your annual monthly gross numbers. If you put in what your expenses were, it'll show you what your annual and net uh, monthly is as well, okay? Now, up at the top, Property Leads app is where all of your seller's information is going to get funneled into, and this is where you work the sales process from start to finish. The live answer would be where you would use the web form if you're live answering. Cold calls, either you're gonna use the web form or it connects directly through uh, platforms such as we can connect it into Batch, uh, batch Dialer or uh, Call Tools. If you're using anything outside of that, such as Mojo, Zencall, et cetera, you use the web form here and it'll funnel in uh, and prevent duplicates. If you're using OnCarrot or any other um, website service that you have of your own, we can funnel it into here. Um, there's a one-time connection fee of 97 bucks, but then when they fill out a form, it'll bring it in here. 
And then we'll look at the phone number, update property leads if there was a match, if not, create a new one. Everything seller-wise will funnel into the property leads app. You work everything here, sales process, comments, all the way from new appointment offer contract, it's all in the property leads app, okay? Sell, uh, let's see, uh, contacts. Uh, this is where you would have kind of a Rolodex electronically. So JV deals, realtors, attorneys, uh, title companies, et cetera, would all go here. Uh, seller blast, voicemail blast. This allows you to send out a blast uh, to items that are in your property leads app. Follow-up, this is if you upgrade to beast mode, you would have your follow-ups here. Uh, as you're uh, pushing your different prospects and leads through the sales process, we're tracking the status updates. So appointment set, offer made, et cetera. All that's being tracked in here, and you can see historically how many appointments you've had for the last week, month, year, et cetera. All that's tracked here, and it currently pushes into some of the report tiles that I showed you on this main activity screen. Mail tracker is going to be where you track your direct mail if you're sending it. Campaign tracker will be where you put in your tracking numbers. So if you have call rail, smartphone, your different campaigns or marketing channels, the phone numbers go there and it'll track it as it comes in. Um, and you'll be able to see how many calls came from a certain tracking number. Team members is used to assign different roles inside of the property leads app, et cetera. If you're using call rail, your seller calls come in here first, buyer calls come here. These are just storage tanks. You don't have to worry about it. Training, if you're going to do any type of training videos, you would put them here for your team. And then configuration app, this is where you can adjust some of your uh, task management settings, texting, some other things that are in the different apps is handled here, okay? So I'm gonna go in the main property leads area here in a second, but I wanna show you the training portal. This is kind of what it looks like, get a feel for it. I'll show you the main area in a second here. Um, but this is some of the services that we connect to. So if you're looking at what services we connect to, here it is. Um, those are the different ones that we currently connect to. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, on the support side, okay? Now, property leads app. We use the Podio Views on the left-hand side here to run a very simple sales process. As long as you're using the next action buttons, which you can kind of see here, and next contact dates, that's what shows up into these different areas right here and it'll move through the buckets. So you're working a sales process. Now, I've got a video up on the um, YouTube and on the uh, RE Automation Squad website that goes through the sales process. You can watch that video and watch how it kind of moves through here and what we uh, would recommend as far as following the sales process to make sure your leads are not being left behind, nothing's falling through the cracks, as long as you're updating next action, next contact date, et cetera, um, everything will continue to move through the system, okay? So this is what it looks like. Um, as you're kind of working your sales process, I'm gonna click into this one, just kind of talk through it. So you're gonna have your basic seller's information up here, any notes that you wanna have, and then you start going into the different sections. So these nav links will jump you to the different sections, but you have your main area where these next action buttons were being tracked, and you can historically see how many times certain buttons have been clicked on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, et cetera. This is part of the KPI tracking. As you're making your outbound calls, you can track off how many calls you've made to the seller, what happened after you made the calls. And again, we track this so you're able to see if I make 100 calls, I made 20 connections, et cetera, okay? And then this is that next contact date field. This is important in the sense of when do you plan on reaching back out to these people? This will help it show up in the system uh, so that you know you're reaching out when you say you're gonna reach out, okay? And then you have a communication log, which is gonna date and timestamp as buttons are being clicked and things are happening in the system. You get to see what happened, as you can see here, and then what user did it and the timestamps, okay? I'm gonna go back up to the nav links, property detail section. It's gonna jump us down to the property details. This is where we get to mark off uh, the address. It'll start pulling back Google Maps, street aerial images, things of that nature. And then you have kind of the typical stuff on what the property actually is some square footage, your built stuff, okay? And then you see we're already in the appointment uh, section. So this is just your property details section. If you ever wanna go back up to the main area or the top, you're simply clicking that. Now you can see the appointment section that we saw. We can click here, and it'll take us there. Um, so you have your appointments uh, section here, and it's you're just filling in when you're gonna go on the appointment, who set it, who's going, this profile if you're gonna do it, and then uh, links after you go on a physical appointment or somebody goes virtual and then you send somebody out later, 
Um, what are the photos and uh, video walkthrough? Doesn't have to be Dropbox or YouTube, but put your links there. That'll help your dispo team when it's time to uh, disposition that deal. See offer section is right there below the appointment section. So there we are. Again, we can go back up to the top. Offer details is just gonna take us right to that offer section specifically. And then you can fill in exactly when is that date uh, offer expire. We always recommend offer expiration dates, make them make a decision. Who's the one on the team that gave them that offer? Here's some links that can give you some values if you wanted to. Once you have your values, fill them in, and then you'll get an average of those different values. And then you've got a section here where you can figure out an offer uh, based off a of low, medium, high. Uh, we've got this set to $8, $16, $24 out of the box. You have an area in the configuration app where you can change this and it'll multiply against the square footage, give you a rough estimate of how much in repairs you're going to need to do. And then your wholesale fee ARV percentage are defaulted in the configuration app as well. But at any point in time, if you want, you can come in here and say, nope, it's 59,000 and it will go ahead and recalculate this number, okay? So you can recalculate there, there as well, and it'll calculate what your cash offer should be. Then you're gonna go ahead and fill out what your actual offer was down here. So everybody's tracking that. And then you see under contract section, but again, if we scroll back up and look for the offer details section and go back up to the top and we can go to the contract details section. That's right where we were just seeing before. Under contract, you're just putting in some of your sales status information here. Um, who got the contract acquisition member, who's selling it on the dispo team, could be the same person. And you have some different checklists here and you're entering in when you got the contract with the seller, if there's an inspection period, when it's set to close with that seller. And then when you do get the buyer, go ahead, enter in buyer's information. Uh, this points to the cash buyer app so you can tag them. And then uh, your actual closing date, when you did close it, what you bought it for, what you think you're gonna sell it for, and then you'll funnel through here and get some of your expenses in net. Now, you see a negative number, this is just a test item, that's why. Um, but nonetheless, that's your contract section, okay? Again, go up to the top. Next section, campaign details. So you see that right here. We've got the marketing section where it was the tracking number that they called. This is the campaign they called off of. This is a cool little thing down here at the bottom. Um, we actually track how many days it took from when it was a lead to appointment appointment to contract, contract to close, and then overall lead to close dates. So you can start to see what the speed is of this uh, lead from start to finish on a closed deal. And then that also tracks into the marketing campaign, okay? So that's what the property lead looks like. Um, I'm gonna come over and talk off of the, let's see, campaign tracker. So we saw that inside of this, the marketing uh, relationship. So this is the, campaign tracker app actually that it's pointing to. And so if we go up to that campaign tracker item, which is Podio testing, something pretty cool about this is when people are calling in your tracking number, we're gonna auto tag it in the campaign details section of the property item. So you'll start to see exactly how many people called in off of that tracking number. If you're entering in what you've spent on the campaign, how many people you have either sent mail to or they've seen your ad, et cetera, see the total opportunities here, it'll start to give you a response rate. And then as you push them through your sales process, you'll start to see how many leads, how many prospects did you have? What's your cost per lead? And then as you're making your calls, it'll kind of mess it, it'll um, track exactly how many times you've talked to people, left messages, et cetera. And then how many appointments? What's your cost per appointment? Number of offers, contracts, and then your ratio. Obviously this is a test item. There's one of one. It's pretty easy, 100% conversion, but Normally you'd probably see something like one of 25 leads closing something of that nature. And then you're gonna see your gross and average profit per deal for all of them that have closed on this specific campaign. And then if you entered in your expenses, your net numbers, your net ROI, and then for every dollar spent, how many comes back through the door? And then you see an average. So this was on the lead, but this shows it for every single uh, property item that has been tagged against this campaign. So you'll see a running average here. All right, so just wanted to kind of show you what our Freedom CRM looks like and some of the uh, automation tied behind it, support, things of that nature. Um, if you do want to reach out and get more information, head over to reiautomationsquad.com. You've got uh, Freedom CRM information, Beast Mode CRM information, and uh, the Simple CRM on the bottom of the page there. If you need anything, reach out to us, support at reiautomationsquad.zendesk.com. 
Otherwise, look forward to uh, seeing you on the other side and hopefully you're a member. Take care.